A pattern-driven combinator patch relies on one of the three different pattern generators in Reason and Record. Of these, the matrix pattern sequencer is the primary one that you should understand. Let me demonstrate this quickly. Here I have a Maelstrom grain table synthesizer, and then I'm going to create a matrix pattern sequencer. Let me tab to the back, and you can see that two cables are connected between the matrix and the Maelstrom. You have the note CV and the gate CV. The note CV sends a signal indicating what pitch is to be played, and the gate CV sends a trigger which indicates when that note should be played. The interface of the matrix provides a pretty clear programming system. Uh, you have a grid for setting the notes, and then you have these segments for setting gate events. On the matrix, you can store up to 32 different patterns, selectable by these eight buttons and four banks. And you can set the step resolution to different rates, half notes, quarter notes, sixteenth notes, etc. And then you can set the number of steps for the pattern. Let me program something here quickly. See, I'm going to go through here and switch off gate events every other step. Then I'll start programming notes on the grid. We'll shift this octave down. Put that there. And then I'm going to press the run button, and this will play the sequence. So here you can see the nature of a pattern sequencer. It cycles through each step of the sequence, sending corresponding note and gate events to the mouse from playing this little pattern. The pattern sequencer is tied to the main sequencer, so when I press play on the transport, the pattern will begin to play. So here we have our basic matrix and synthesizer combination. Now, if you're working between the two environments, between record and reason, uh, one useful trick is to select the two devices, wrap them in a combinator using the combine feature, and save that as a patch. Matrix Maelstrom. Now I'm back over to reason, and I can load the patch that I just saved from record. Matrix Maelstrom, click OK. Show devices, and there we have our Maelstrom and the Matrix. Now there is a limit to the portability of combinator patches that you create and record. If you're using devices that are exclusive to record, like the ID8 sound module or the Line 6 amplifiers, they will not be able to be opened in Reason. But in this case, we just have two Reason-based devices, the Maelstrom and the Matrix, and they will open up without a problem in both environments.